I mean, I've always been completely in love with nature in quite a profound way, I think. I love to observe nature and sort of wander around, sort of just uh, in a state of curiosity, I suppose. These are my sketches and designs for the installation. These are my moulds, my silicon rubber moulds of flower heads and buds and leaves. Wonderful floppy things. They have been cast under here. This was the last one I did. I was travelling in India and saw some amazing botanical carvings on the palaces in Rajasthan. And I came away thinking, oh, I had been doing animals and then I realized I'd like to try some botanical pieces, which was very interesting because the whole process of that art form is that you record exactly what you're seeing. So you're recording faults and all of the mishaps that a plant might go through. And I loved that. And it sent my imagination flying, really, to have that authenticity of recording exactly what you see. Clay is just a, an amazingly tactile, creative material that you can literally make anything out of. It allows delicacy and strength and uh, it's from the earth. Clay does give you a directness because when you're building initially with clay, there's just wonderful wet mud. I realized not to worry about the, the accidental things that happen, like maybe an edge cracking. It adds a kind of energy and a kind of realistic detail. I like structures. I think that's what I'm really into. I love the structures of plants and just makes me want to try and replicate them. I think it's about bringing beauty inwards, really. And for me, it sets my imagination flying. And I think that's what other people are getting from it as well. I'm just trying to record the beauty of nature, I think. And I believe that everyone needs it. There's a healing power to nature.